So hi, Marta. Um, hi. We're here um, in front of these beautiful 5U modular systems, right? Yes, exactly. And um, you're here for uh, Keyboard Magazine. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um, and uh, you were coming saying that you don't actually own a 5U system. You're a 3U, uh, yes, 3U exactly. person. Yes, exactly. And 3U, uh, we have a Eurorack over on the other side. And here is the 5U section. Uh, this is uh, from Sundberg in Munich. Um, it's a Mo, Mo clone, actually. It sounds very rich, very fat, very, very warm. And this one is a Moon modular. Uh, here's a Sund voice, and this is the sequencer. And uh, it doesn't have uh, much to do with the Mo uh, circuits with the with the original ones, but it's the 5U Mo format. So. Exactly. So, um, how did you kind of get into modular stuff? Um, I don't know. I just uh, I'm making music my whole life actually, and then I went to the local shop in Munich, and I saw a duffer case, a two-row duffer case, and I said I, I need to have that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I bought myself one and started uh, playing with it, and um, yeah, that was ten years ago, and I'm still with it. Excellent. Um, so this, uh, so just, do you want to just talk us through this case a bit, and maybe we can we can play some of the patch that's running. Yeah, sure, sure. So I'll put up the gain a little bit, so we hear it. So actually, in this uh, configuration, we are getting the the clock uh, from the Eurorack case on the other side. It's patched in here, and um, so we are hearing at the moment uh, these three oscillators, uh, it's an oscillator bang, which you can, can control with uh, this unit um, in, in full. As you can hear the, the pitches going up and down, or you can uh, uh, edit it over here with the single oscillators uh, in their frequency range and And they are all going here, sawtooth, 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 <laughs> into the into the mixer at the moment. And from the mixer, it goes up to the uh, filter section. So this is this is a uh, classic kind of Moog style ladder yeah, low pass filter, it, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's a subtractive synthesis, a synthesis, synthesis over here. Uh, uh, I'm not this is the um, resonance, so I'm always a little bit shy with this one. But you can hear it. It has that kind of classic squelchy loveliness that yeah, you would expect exactly. from a Moog, a Moog filter, That's right? That's great. So, and then from um, here, we are going to the amplifier. And the amplifier is, of course, uh, tr um, triggered by an uh, envelope, uh, so it know knows when to put the volume up and down. So if I cut the cables, the sound is off, and over here you can... Uh, and, of course, you have here a... Uh, then you have a volume knob that you have to turn down to get so the... So that's uh, basically the bias, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. exactly. So um, obviously we don't have a uh, we don't have a sequencer in that case, so that's why we're just hearing one note. Right? Yeah, that's uh, that's right. But we are uh, at the moment we are getting the clock from the sequencer on the other side, the Eurorack case, and um, the mo Moon Modular has a separate sequencer down here. So we could of course patch this one over here or from the other side and. Uh, the only thing you have to uh, think of is that you have um, the, um, the 6.3 cables. The to 3.5. Uh, right? Exactly. Yeah. You have to to take uh, to use adapters, and then you can use it with all the other formats. So that's quite easy then. So um, uh, you you don't, as you said you didn't you don't own a 5U system, but how how do you find it in comparison? 
uh, being a Eurorack user? Uh, that's a good question. I think the big ones are more uh, rich in sound and more, more. I don't know, they, they, they have bigger, uh, you can get bigger sounds out, out of it. For example, if you use, you have here, you have six oscillators. Then if you use them all at once, you can really have a very big sound. Um, and it's, yeah, it's hand built and you hear that, it's very nice. And with the Eurorack, it's, or with Depa, for example, it's more precise. Not all of them, but most of them, I would say. And, uh, and you have more variety with your rig. So with the, the 5U, you have um, several uh, companies who build it, but not as many as with your rig. So with your rig, you have so many, you have to search first uh, what you want to do, what you want to sound like, and then you have to decide. And it's very more, more playful and experimental. And with the big 5U units, you're more, you know what it sounds like, and it's a go-to model and uh, yeah, it's high class, I would say. Okay, well, thank you very much. It's been yes, lovely talking you. to you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> you will be uh, performing at the Superbooth, yes, right? Yes, the first time with my modular. Yeah, um, well, it's, it's exciting. So maybe maybe you want to tell uh, tell the viewers at home when uh, what time and what day yes, that will be. Yes, I'd like. Uh, it's on the Saturday. Uh, it's April the the twenty second. So that's the last day of. That's Super the last Bowl. day in the evening. I think it's um, uh, nine p.m. For, nine forty in the evening in the in the big hall. The I don't know what it's called at the moment, but you can look it up at Superbooth uh, at the website. Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you.